from this. Three-time Olympic gold medalist Gabby Douglas says she is returning to gymnastics with the hopes of competing in next summer's games in Paris. Douglas posted pictures of herself. To this. Olympic all-around champion Gabby Douglas has ended her bid for the Paris Olympic team. A representative for the 28-year-old gymnast confirmed to NBC News that Douglas has also withdrawn from this weekend's U.S. championships, citing an... As you can see, the tone had gone from 100 to zero real quick. After all, Gabby Douglas's Olympic comeback had been highly anticipated after eight years of being away from the sport. Now, it seems that her dreams of participating in this year's Paris Olympics came to a crashing end. But wait, let's backtrack a little. Douglas announced her comeback last July, citing her desire to find joy in the sport again. Although she never announced a retirement, she kept a relatively low profile, with no reports of her training following the Rio games. Now though, she is more visible, so to speak. By November 2023, she attended a US national team camp for the first time since 2016. The event allowed her to show routines and get feedback from national team staff. Although Douglas had hoped to attend this year's April camp, she was not eligible per the guidelines released by USA Gymnastics. Just so you know, should she have been allowed participation in the said camp, she would have had an opportunity to qualify for the US championships. However, according to the organization, all attendees had to be either current national team members, placed in the top 12 all around at the Winter Cup, and achieved the qualification score for the U.S. Championships, or medalists from the Tokyo Olympics. Unfortunately, Gabby does not belong to any of the aforementioned groups. Still, the Olympian didn't lose hope of advancing her position in the coming months. I was so sad that I couldn't attend the April camp, but honestly, I'm looking forward to doing the American Classic and grateful to be back in the gym getting stronger, detailing the routines, Douglas said. Then, in mid-May, Gabby Douglas finally returned to competitive gymnastics after eight years away from the sport. On her first competition back, she managed to qualify for the U.S. championships in the vault and the beam events, thanks to her performances at the American Classic. The gymnast looked rusty in spots and promising in others, while posting a score of 50.65 in the all-around, finishing 10th out of 26 gymnasts. She took second in the vault, tied for fifth in the beam, 19th in the floor, and 20th in the bars. Needless to say, she hoped to use the US Classic, a key Olympic qualifying event, as a springboard to secure her spot in the team heading to Paris this summer. However, the 2012 Olympic all-around and team champion struggled on the uneven bars and fell twice, mind you, before she withdrew from the rest of the remaining events. When she tried again, it was heartwarming to see the fans chanting her name to show their support. I honestly didn't do the best that I wanted, she said of the American Classic, which was her first competition since the Rio Olympics in 2016. But I have to give myself a little grace because it's been so long. Douglas was aiming to gain an all-around qualification score, 51.000 for the championships. But she posted just a 10.100 after falling twice on the uneven bars. A few minutes later, USA Gymnastics confirmed that Douglas had withdrawn from the event. US Ag said in a tweet, Gabby Douglas is scratching the remainder of hashtag core classic. Now here's the thing. The withdrawal means the 28-year-old will fail to qualify for the all-around in the U.S. championships, which began on May 30th. She is still qualified to compete in other events, though. On that note, fans were hoping to once again catch a glimpse of Gabby in action in the U.S. gymnastics championships, however, shortly before the event. A representative for the 28-year-old gymnast confirmed to NBC News that Douglas has also withdrawn from this weekend's U.S. championships, citing an ankle injury she sustained during training this week. It was disappointing news for fans, especially because... Douglas was scheduled to compete on three of the four events at the championship in Fort Worth, Texas, 
after failing to qualify as an all-around competitor. Needless to say, the injury ends Douglas's improbable bid to make the 2024 Paris Olympic team after an eight-year hiatus. At 28, Douglas would have been the oldest American woman to compete in gymnastics at the Olympics since 1952. Despite the injury, she said she is proud of what she accomplished over her 18-month comeback. I love this sport and I love pushing my limits, Douglas told ESPN. I hope I can inspire both my peers and the next generation of gymnasts that age is just a number and you can accomplish anything you work hard for. She also told the cable sports channel that despite the setback, she wasn't planning on giving up on a future Summer Games run. I proved to myself and to the sport that my skills remain at an elite level. Her agent, Lowell Taub, declined to further comment about her withdrawal from the championships. I spoke to her today, said Chelsea Memel, who is now USA Gymnastics Women's Program Technical Lead. She may now be an official, but she understands Gabby's situation better than most, having attempted her own comeback three years ago, a decade after her last competition. We had a really good talk, Chelsea said. I was like, I know how you're feeling. When you come back as an older athlete, things feel a lot different in competition. I'm bummed for her, but her body is her top priority, and that's smart. Memel wasn't the only one who had Gabby's back. In fact, she has one special fan pulling for her after a disappointing outing at the recent US Classic, and that is 2008 Olympic balance beam champion, Sean Johnson. She's one of the most talented gymnasts I've ever seen, said Johnson in a recent episode of her YouTube show, Couple Things, alongside her husband, Andrew East. We got to train together for almost four years. I adore her. I adore everything that she is. I think she's a phenomenal human. I think she's made of steel. All of that. She has persevered and she has come back into this sport. And she looks like an actual beast of an athlete. She looks stronger than she has ever looked. You can hear the awe in her voice talking about her former training partner. And watching her in warm-ups and watching her get ready to compete. She looks amazing. And it just made me so, so proud to see. I think she's fought her way back to this on her own. And it's really admirable. Sean's husband, East, also lauded Douglas's return. And for her to just, like, have the courage to step into that mm -hmm. and say, I'm doing it because I love it. Mm -hmm. I got chills even thinking about it. Like, that, that is amazing what she did. Mm -hmm. And it's not easy. Well, perhaps it's safe to say that it's her love for the sport that propels her forward. After all, Gabby did say, I love this sport and I love pushing my limits. I hope I can inspire both my peers and the next generation of gymnasts that age is just a number and you can accomplish anything you work hard for. Now that she's officially stepping back from this year's Summer Olympics, she made sure to assure her fans that it is not the end of the road for her. In an Instagram post, she said, this may be the end of this chapter, but not the end of my gymnastics story. She also made sure to express her gratitude for the people who showed support, grace, and love. It truly has touched my heart, she wrote. She may not be competing in Paris alongside the others, but she will always be cheering USA 1. For now, Gabby intends to heal and eventually resume training, with the hopes of making another bid for the Los Angeles Games in 2028. Douglas told ESPN that she intends to continue training in preparation for the 2028 Olympics. She told ESPN, my plan is to continue to train for the LA 2028 Olympics. It would be such an honor to represent the US at a home Olympics. From Paris to Los Angeles, medals or withdrawals, Douglas has made one thing clear. This comeback is for the love of gymnastics. While her name may be out of the race for 2024, 2028 is up for grabs. We've waited eight years for her comeback. What's for more? For now though, let's take a look at those who will actually compete in Paris next month.